How you doing, buddy? Come on. How you doing? He's clueless. <laughs> He's clueless. He loves to chase his own fuzz when he can see it. When he can see it. I guess that's the funny part, isn't it? That's the funny part. Ah, oh, good morning. How's everybody doing? We had water go out on Monday. It was really weird. Uh, this, the, I was washing some towels and the washing machine made a noise and I went back there and it's like, hey, there ain't no water going through these pipes. And I'm like, oh, geez, wow. Weird accent, but okay. And I came in here and flipped this and of course, no water came out. So we had a water issue, which is really interesting. But here we are today. This is a weirdly busy kind of odd week. Um, not superficially, it's not. I mean, other than the trip to Minneapolis uh, that kicks off on Friday, um, Delta withstanding, we're flying on Delta and Delta is, is being an airline uh, right now. Uh, the amount of people online that are jumping to Delta's defense saying, hey, you know, we had that whole big problem a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they're just recovering from it while at the same time, other flight companies have moved on. You know, Spirit has moved on and are running flights as normal. So Delta, it's not, it's not that. Delta is just having a problem and I hope, I hope our flight does not get canceled. That would be awful. Uh, I would hate to have all this hype and have bought those tickets from Ticketmaster. Thank you, Ticketmaster, you pile of garbage. I paid. I paid as much in fees as I did for the seat. And I went over, that was a rant that I've already had. And I'm angry, still angry about it, but I've also gotten over it at the same time. But that Pete guy, that Pete guy, he's on top of it. He's on top of it. And I don't have any real issues with him. He seems fine. What, Butajig, Butajig, uh, 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 yeah, that guy, the, the transportation guy. Um, very few problems with him. But what does bother me is I think he's in charge of the whole roadway thing and the whole Tesla's using our roadways and highways as beta testing for their lane keep assist plus is really pissing me off and no one in the auto safety industry is doing anything about it. I mean, they're just running wild with this what's supposed to be what's advertised as autonomous driving that they had to go back on and say, no, it's autonomous driving supervised, which that's not how any of this works. So, you know, we're, I don't know that that's a whole thing. It just aggravates me. But anyway, uh, Pete's on the, on the job. So something, uh, might get done. Maybe I figure Delta's checks have run out. Maybe once aliens Musk holes checks run out, he'll, start looking and seeing what's what's happening at Tesla. I don't know. It's just so aggravating because, I mean, the thought that at, at any point, if I'm near a Tesla and they're doing that stupid autonomous driving thing, and I've seen people with their hands off the wheel reading newspapers while they're driving down the road. It's absolutely insane and horrifying. Um, and it's not the future. It's just a, a, a dickweed that wanted to push out programming that wasn't ready because he wanted to feel good about himself. So, and then a company full of people doing the same. So I'm not, uh, I, I don't want to be someone's test. Oh, I lost it. It'll get ground up. There was a little kernel in there. Look weird. I don't think we'll be all right. Uh, the Darling Delight coconut and caramel flavored coffee. Such good stuff. I love it. We're gonna grind that up nice and finely. <laughs> and um, uh, we'll talk about what's going on. <laughs> I 
And I didn't have to spray these beans again because uh, they are coated and uh, treated with whatever makes this mm, smell so good. <sighs> so good, good stuff, good stuff. So, and you know, it's, it's not just the Minnesota uh, flight, which hopefully happens, um, fingers and toes crossed. Um, there's some superficial things that are, you know, like the uh, video game wise. Um, the pre-patch for World of Warcraft's The War Within dropped yesterday and I haven't been able to fiddle with it uh, because honestly, I had tried to log in um, when it was supposed to be done and the servers were still down. So I'm like, well, I'll just do it later. And then there's this video game that I like to play. If you have Steam, uh, look up EDF, uh, Earth Defense Force. It's a third person shooter and you can have two people on the same screen uh, shooting monsters. And it's, it's, it's an amazing game. It's, it's a, I think 4.1 and then five are on Steam. So I, I, Matt and I played the heck out of those and, and they're a lot of fun because they're, they're, like I said, they're split screen. So one's on the top, one's on the bottom and then you have your own little radars and then it's just, you know, you're just shooting monsters together in the same little battle arena and it's really great. And it's like giant ants of various colors, uh, giant spiders of various types. What's the other thing? There's roly poly bugs. The little bugs that kind of roll up into a ball when you go near them, they're giant and huge and they roll you over and knock you down. Uh, and, then, and then you kind of get to the monsters part where it's like alien invasion stuff. It's a lot of fun. And then the weapons are all wacky. Some of them are really wacky and some of them are very powerful. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. And you can just have various ways of, of approaching a situation and taking down enemies. Well, the sixth iteration of that is coming out tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, that's, I, it would be nice if they let me preload it, but hopefully it drops at midnight so I can uh, just do it at midnight. I don't, I forget how those kind of things work. Uh, so, you know, it's just, it's just, in my little world, um, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, I mean, the main big thing is, of course, going to Minnesota to watch Rift Tracks, because I'm excited. It'll be a lot of fun. I've never been to Minnesota. It'll be, a, it'll be a nice time. We're actually staying in a place that's downtown, uh, so that'll be fun, downtown Minnesota. Uh, I hear it's a very beautiful place to be. Um, the weather's going to be really hot. Uh, we checked the temperatures for this uh, weekend coming, and whereas there's no rain, it looks like it's going to be in the 90s. So um, I guess there will be no snow. What am I doing? Uh, I guess, you know what? I, I can kind of gauge where this is now. Um, weighing is fun, um, but... Generally, I take this all the way up anyway to around 450, 500 grams. And right now, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't put it on the scale. Isn't that funny? I was just talking about so many different things that are happening and uh, it completely slipped my mind. So yeah, so we're doing that and we'll be back on Monday, Monday evening. So it'll be, it'll be a nice long time. And then the, the show, the Rift Track show is uh, on Saturday, and then they're taping it, and then it will be broadcast to theaters in August. I think one of the dates is the 13th, maybe the other one's the 8th, something like that. I'm not quite sure. I'll put it up on the screen because I'll look it up after I've, uh, after, while I'm editing, so. But yeah, so that'll be really fun and exciting, and I can't, <laughs> I almost want to go back to both showings <laughs> just so I can watch it twice in the theater. Um, I mean, one of your jokes, one of your jokes, I don't know which one yet, sometimes they're writing and rewriting and rewriting up until like the day before. So I may not know which joke they decided to pick, you know, until the day before. Uh, what's really good though, is they've not contacted me to rewrite something or to, to, to give them something else because none of the ones I gave them were any good. So that's a good sign. I watched their planning session. Uh, what was that? Was that on Monday? Yeah, I think it was on Monday that plan. They had a planning session. It was short. Um, they went over a small section of the show, 
where they couldn't quite figure out what joke they wanted to put in there, and they kind of brainstormed some jokes back and forth, the, the five of them did. So that was very interesting to watch. I mean, I wish I could watch like a, an entire hour of them just sitting on couches together going back and forth. That would be fascinating. I would love to watch that just to see what their thought processes are when it comes to writing this stuff, because that to me is incredibly interesting. Um, and, and I would love to see how that's made. But you know, you get to your little snippet and, and that was pretty good. It was, it, was, it was nice to watch. It was of course short, but then again, I think it, it would always be sh too short for me, so. But that, it was great, it was great to watch. Um, so hopefully before we leave on Friday, I will get something in an email saying, hey, this is the joke we decided to pick. You know, this was good or this was good enough or this fit where we wanted it to be, you know, something like that. So, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if the ones that I wrote were similar to something that they were putting in there themselves because you know, some of them were kind of easy. Um, some of them were, you know, kind of layups, you know, but I thought they were really funny layups. So it'd be funny to see uh, as, the, as the show progresses, because I, I kind of wrote the majority of it. There were some places where there was a lot of silent action um, or there was places where there was an, an incessant amount of talking to where you couldn't really fit anything in between lines where they were breathing. So, you know, there were, I didn't write for those because those, that would take multiple sessions of watching and um, a lot more research. <laughs> so as it, as it was, I had an entire list of 80s and 90s slang terms for surfing. Uh, and I wrote a, I wrote, I wrote one for the very end. Something happens and it's just like two Australian guys, uh, cause he's in Australia, two Australian guy, guys in cop outfits, um, watching things happen. And in the end credits, it's Australian guy one, Australian guy two. There's, they're not even named. Uh, but the last act that he, perf that uh, Patrick Swayze's character performed was done in front of Australia number one and Australia number two. I mean, you know, what, what kind of a, what kind of an ending is that to be honest with you? So yeah, <laughs> I, I, I came up with some ones that I thought were really funny. And I think if I can make myself chuckle a little bit, then they must be worth something. So, but no, that, so that'll be exciting. Um, it'll be really great to see it hopefully. And again, knock on, but I forget, was this granite? <laughs> knock on granite. Hopefully Delta Airlines doesn't fart. It's a, it's one of those, um, it's one of those flights that happen all the time. It's like a commuter flight from, from, it's like an hour, like from Columbus to, um, Minnesota. So it'll, it'll be, it's an hour flight. So I don't, I don't know if something that routine is screwed up. I guess we'll find out. We will find out. Give that a stir. Matt did uh, pork shoulder in the grill uh, this weekend, which was, oh, speaking of uh, his colonoscopy went very, very well. Actually, I'm kind of aggravated because he was only in there for like, he was in there for like 25 minutes and that was it. Um, he had two polyps, whereas when I did mine, they had four polyps. So if you're scoring in basketball, I'm winning. If you're scoring in golfing, he's winning. So depending on how you look at your uh, polyps that are possibly cancerous. So they only pulled, they only uh, cut two out of him and then they cut uh, uh, four out of me two years ago. So, um, and his, and I can't, you know, I, I can't really read. He got his test results back. He definitely needs to go over it with his doctor because I can kind of guess at some terminology because my mom was a nurse, but a lot of it is like, you know, and I'm not taking my, I don't really want to take my colonoscopy screening to my parent and have her read it off. Cause I don't, I don't need every time I see her from then point on being uh, stuff about my health. I don't, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> All right, six minutes. Let's put some coffee into stitch here. So, so, but yeah, so his col colonoscopy went great. He was only in there for a small amount of time, which was wonderful. He was really, he doesn't understand how loopy he was um, when, he, when he came out. 
I have a full-time, part-time job. This person has a full-time, part-time job for me. Wow, fascinating. Yeah, he, he said, I said, wow, you, were, you weren't in there for very long. He said, yeah, it's at 25 minutes. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I, I was in there for much longer. And he says, well, I don't know why. And then I made a joke. I said, well, they had longer to travel. And, and he looked at me confused and he said, no, it's the same place right around the corner. And I meant travel while colonoscoping. Um, but he just gave me a weird look. He says, no, it was just around the corner. So it was really interesting. And he's very talky, very talky when, he, when he's, when he, cause he, um, he's, he's like, I got my first, uh, narcotic. So they gave him like a small little dose of like fentanyl and then something else. Um, so a t the tiniest of doses of fentanyl. So now I've had a narcotic and I'm like, oh, okay, great. It was a lot of, a lot of that, you know, and then, and then he would, he would immediately go from what happened in there to, we have to take the pork shoulder out because we need to, get, we need to dip all the pork shoulder. And I'm like, yes, it's already out in the, fr in the fridge. It's, the, it's thawing out right now. Oh, okay. But we need to take it out when we get home. Okay. Okay. So it was a lot of that. So it was very interesting. So I was probably the same way. I mean, I was there when they took his vitals and then I was there when he wheeled him out and I was sitting in the room and then when they wheeled him back in, I was sitting in the room. So I didn't know that that was something that he could have done. So, and he was, he was really worried. So I, I'm glad I was able to be there because that was he really, he was really, really worried. Ah, uh, uh, darling delight never fails to make me feel good or better because I was already feeling good because then and then I've got something else that I have to do <laughs> switching gears again really quickly um, I got a, the last figure in the set of the Voyager series from X06 down there and I've not opened it up because I wanted to be surprised when I opened it up so I'm going to do a video on that uh, today and then I also have to edit I, I finished the Mega Bloks Enterprise uh, that was a horrible thing that um, I'm never touching another Mega Bloks build again. Uh, it was awful. But uh, I finished that, so I'm editing that, and then I've got up to episode six uploaded and ready to go because I'm releasing them one day at a time. They're about six, between 16 and 20 minutes long. Um, and then in the end, after maybe a, about a week, I'll edit all those together and just have one long cut because sometimes people just like that. So I'll be doing that as well. Anyhow, so I've got things I gotta do. So, and then tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll log back in with you guys and we'll do, uh, we'll do another coffee and we'll uh, hopefully I'll have news about which uh, riff they picked. If not, maybe we'll go over the riffs. I don't know, I don't know why not, why not? So, okay, well, we will talk to you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye.